is going on guys? Welcome back my friends to today's second episode. Quick disclaimer, if you aren't yet subscribed to the channel, then I don't know why guys, because we're still posting two COC videos a day, every single day. So sub to the channel before this video ends guys, if you do want to see two COC videos on the channel every day. Now what we're going to be doing, this is going to be a bit of a spending spree in today's episode guys. Yesterday, we upgraded two of the army camps to the next level, guys. Two army camps are going to level 9. We've got two left, which are, of course, level 8. And I want to upgrade them in the episode. But the question is, how are we going to do it when we don't have any builders free? Well, we're going to use a magical item, guys. And that is called my credit card. So, we're going to head over into the shop. We've had this Town Hall 11 pack in this shop now for about... I want to say three months, guys, and uh, I haven't ever bought it. I don't really know why. It's $20. We're about to get it right now in this episode, and then we're going to be doing a bit of a gem spree and doing many upgrades in the base. Now, because I am spending gems in this episode, guys, I am going to be giving away two $10 gift cards so you can get yourself a gold pass. So if you want to win a $10 gift card, one for iTunes, one for Android. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel, guys. Hit that sub button. Leave a like to get some good luck and do me a favor. Let me know your best COC joke down below in that comment section. I'll take a look through the comments, guys. And in 12 hours time, I will pick not one, but two winners. Do not forget to let me know what country you're from and what gift card you want. But let's get this, guys. Town Hall 11 pack. Okay, we purchased it, guys. Do we have enough money in my account or am I poor forever? Let's find out. Boom. Purchase is successful, guys. Okay. Let me grab a screenshot in case I want to use that for a thumbnail. Town Hall 11 pack has been received. And I just realized we got 14 million elixir, 10.9 million gold, guys. But here comes the magical part. So, we've got zero builders free, but we are doing five upgrades right now, guys. And, um, I'm gonna check what upgrades they are. So, a hidden Tesla, an archer tower, and two army camps, and the clan castle. We're gonna straight up head over to the CC, guys, because I'm about to gem it. I'm about to gem this, and, uh, when I say gem it, I'm probably gonna be using a magical item. Let me just grab a screenshot of that as well, guys. New era YT, by the way... In case you haven't bookmarked it, guys, we do get spaces opening all the time. So make sure you come and join if you want to have some fun. But magic item number one, book of everything. Let's go ahead and use it, guys. And there it is, a level seven clan castle. And now we can upgrade it to level eight once we get to town hall level 12. We just increased our spell capacity from one to two, guys. And we can now store... Still 35 troops inside of our defending CC. So, I'm going to put that back over there. And I'm going to go to the next upgrade. And that is going to be a hidden Tesla. Now, if we take a look at this, guys, it is the last level 7 hidden Tesla. The other three are already level 8. So let's go ahead and also use an other book of everything to grab ourselves a level 8 hidden Tesla. Let's plonk that back over there. Here we go. And we are done, guys. And now, my friends, it is time to head over to the army camp. So this is where it's going to get interesting because I've only got two builders free. And I've got an archer tower upgrading, guys. But because I'm a YouTuber, I want to grab all four army camps upgrading at the same time so I can get a cool thumbnail. So I'm actually, instead of spending the gold... And instead of using the Book of Everything to upgrade army camps, which would probably make sense because the upgrade times are 6 days, 2 hours. I'm actually going to upgrade both of them. So that's 5.6 million elixir there. 5.6 million elixir there, guys. And now we've got zero builders free again. But here comes another magic part. We're going to head over to the Archer Tower. I've got a third Book of Everything and... Uh, I know they're the most powerful magic item in the game, guys. I don't really want to waste them, but I'm going to do it because I love you guys. And uh, I know it's entertaining. So, by the way, that Archer Tower is level 13. I think that could be the first level 14. Yes, it is. Okay, it is our first level 14 Archer Tower. Let's slip that back over here somewhere, guys. Um, I'm going to move the expert out of the way, by the way. And uh, let's put that there. So that's our first level 14 archer tower and that means we've sucked our gold back down to 10.9 million 
Now, I've only got a single build of three, but I do have enough Dark Elixir to also do a hero upgrade. And I believe we've got a book of heroes. We got two of them. So, let's head over. I would upgrade the king because he's lower level, but because we got so much Dark Elixir, we may as well upgrade the queen, guys. So let's do this. Archer Queen, 144,000 Dark Elixir, and the boost. Level 40, click that magic item, level 41. And at least we're close enough to, I think, upgrading the king. How much do we need? 106,500 Dark Elixir, guys. So we're kind of close to upgrading the king as well. Now, this is where it's going to get beautiful. We got 10.7 million gold. Sorry, 10.9 million. Almost 11 million, actually. Do we have any loot in the treasury? Let's check. No, we don't. What are we going to do with our gold storages? It's time to choose another upgrade, guys. And I think I'm going to go for something special. I think I'm going to do the Eagle Artillery. Let's pull it over here. And the reason why is the other builders aren't going to be coming back for almost a week and because we've almost got empty storages i may as well upgrade the eagle artillery guys also we've got an upgrade going in the lab which is the free spell so because we have nothing free for the next three four days i'm also going to spend the rest of the elixir on these walls so i think we can do one maybe two yep just one okay but we can upgrade some with our war rings I only had two, so that kind of sucks. But, um, here goes Eagle Artillery, guys. Oh, no. We can't even upgrade it. How silly am I? Let's put it back. That's a little bit embarrassing. What a waste of time that was. Okay, what about Inferno Towers? Eight million apiece. We've got two Inferno Towers. Let's do that, guys. Eight million gold. That means we can at least upgrade another Lava Wall. So there's another 1.6 million there. And 8 million more on an Inferno Tower, guys. And there it is, my friends. Zero builders free for the next six days, two hours. We got four army camps upgrading and an Inferno Tower. It is ludicrous how many upgrades we are getting done on this base, guys. I know we're spending some gems, spending some money, using my credit card. But um, it's all fun and games until we go poor and, you know, homeless. But until then, we're going to keep doing it, guys, because you absolutely love it. So check this out. We have got ourselves 10.6 million gold, 12 million elixir, and over 100,000 dark elixir in the season bank. We're trying to max it out, guys, and that means we need to complete more challenges as we do this. So we're currently doing the balloon blitz on both accounts, this and the general Tony account. So let's get ourselves into a live battle, guys, as we test out our level 41 Archer Queen for the very first time ever. And what a beautiful base to start on. Let's wreck this dude, guys. Okay, a bit of a weird strategy, I'll admit. Bowlers and balloons and giants. I know it's strange, but should get a, you know, decent amount of damage. Maybe a triple star. Who knows? We're going to have to wait and see. Let's give it our best shot and see what happens. Okay. What I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to make a funnel over here with some balloons, guys. And uh, I'm going to take out that bomb tower as well. Let's grab that. Okay, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Oh, and we got the mortar. Awesome. Now let's take out this wizard tower just for the fun. Just for fun and games. And we got it. Now we'll use the minions just to clear a couple of buildings there, guys. And we've got our funnel secured on the left-hand side. So now let's make another funnel. I am going to... I'm gonna funnel this side with my queen, guys. But there is a level 50 archer queen there, so... I've got to be very careful with what I do here. I'm going to have to drop a, probably a Rage and a Freeze on this Defending Queen, guys. Here we go. Freeze is down. As soon as we get that Queen down, we're good. Awesome. Okay. So, now I'm going to send another Haste Spell. Take out that Archer Tower. Take out that Bomb Tower. And the Queen, once again, should be able to make her way into the left-hand side, guys. So, we got the Balloons taking out the Wizard Tower. And we can drop in a bowler to clear up those extra buildings, guys. This is actually going pretty damn well so far. But I don't want to speak too soon. Queen's in trouble now. Okay, we're going to have to use the Queen's ability, guys. I messed that up a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Here go the wall breakers. Didn't quite get in. Okay. I am going to use the giants down the bottom. King off down there. And the bowler's more to the right-hand side. Drop in that Grand Warden. 
And we'll go with the jump spell straight into the town hall, guys. We're only up to 38%. So, um, didn't really go as good as I actually expected, guys. But you know what? It's still good. We'll grab a two-star. And I'm going to use the King's and the Grand Warden's ability. Soon there goes the King, Grand Warden. I just realized there is no Eagle Artillery, so I don't really have to worry about that, guys. So I don't need to use the Grand Warden's ability too early. Let's hold back with it and see what happens. I don't know where these troops are going to go, because we're coming up to some lava walls, guys. And we still got a lot of healers alive. If we can keep these healers on these, on these bowlers and these heroes... As they break through this wall, there could be a shot at that Dark Elixir storage somehow. I'm not really too sure, guys, but we're already up to 70% almost. There goes the Grand Warden's ability, saving us from that giant big bomb, of course. Archer Queen and the Bowlers with a mix of the Warden gonna take out that Inferno Tower, guys. I want the healers to go up to the Bowlers rather than the Grand Warden. I don't know what they're doing, but we're running out of time anyway, guys, so we gotta be quick here. Here we go. Air defense is going to drop if we could grab maybe a little bit more loot somehow. Possibly that Dark Elixir storage. I don't know if we've got enough time to do it, guys. I don't think so. Kind of sad leaving 2,700 Dark Elixir in the center, but um, that's what's happened sometimes. And you know what? At least we still had an amazing episode. So let's collect all that loot, guys. 12 trophies, 100% loot bonus. And it is time to end the video here. So... No builders for the next week. Pretty much means we're going to be maxing out our storages naturally. And then we'll, we'll be ready to rock and roll, guys, and do some more upgrades in the base. Looking pretty good, this, this account now. It is looking pretty damn good. Make sure you have a great weekend, guys. I will see you tomorrow for two more episodes. Peace out.